Okay, this is the uh, midweek message today. I have been thinking about us, about human beings, and me and whoever might be on the other side of this uh, camera watching YouTube right now. Um, I have uh, received the gift of many friendships, and I am so grateful for that. Um, I have the gifts of friendships with all kinds of different people. And um, because I like people and because I like humor, it means a lot to me that I have some really weird friends in just about every direction that I can imagine. Um, I'm thinking about uh, all these different friends, different ages, different cultures, and I don't just mean from different places, but really from different walks of life. And I'm thinking about the things that make us the same and the things that make us different. And I like them both. God made us different from each other. Um, God made us that way. And I think what I need is in the middle of that for us to go ahead and still like each other. I have friends that are all kinds of wonderful weird differently different. And what I realized today is that I really have very little need for, um, for my friends and I to agree on issues, to agree on stuff, to think the same. We don't need to agree with each other. But here is something I really do need. I need you to take me at least a little bit seriously and I need to take you at least a little bit seriously. Not totally, uh, because, you know, I might be partly wrong, you might be partly wrong. But how about this? How about if we let each other um, express our thoughts in at least one sentence? And for that sentence, we just listen. And then at the end, we don't have to say, well, I agree with you, or um, no, that sounds really ridiculous. You don't have to say anything like that. But what I do want is at the end of that sentence, I, I want you to like me. I want to like you. I want you to like each other. And in any group, any family, any set of friends, um, if we disagree radically about something important, uh, yeah, it's kind of threatening, but if we can disagree and like each other at the end of an opening sentence, I, I think we can get somewhere with that. I need you to take me a little bit seriously, one sentence worth. I need to take you a little bit seriously, at least one sentence worth. I don't mean that, um, that what you have to say is equal to what I have to say. We don't need to acknowledge that. You may think that I'm really just ridiculous, or I might think that of you, but, but that's different from saying, okay, I hear you. I'm surprised by what you say, but you know what? I like you. I like you. So, um, with my relationship with you, um, my ideas in different parts of life might be too far to the right for you or too far to the left for you or too middle of the road for you. Um, but can we still like each other? I might listen to you or see what you write on Facebook and go, oh my gosh, that's kind of different from where I'm at, but you know what? I like you. I still like you. If we can get to finish one sentence and still like each other, then we have a chance. As a matter of fact, not only might we grow a little bit in wisdom or in knowledge, uh, but to be able to hear each other and like each other, that gives us a chance to uh, to find humor. Uh, humor where you expect one thing and then zap, here comes something from the other side of the universe. Well, I hope sometimes when I talk with you, you are from the other side of the universe and you surprise me in a beautiful and fun and funny way.
And I hope I do that for you sometimes. So, what I've just written, what I've just shared, um, uh, I think is right and I think it's true and it's perfectly clear to me, so obviously it must be clear to you or not. But that's okay whether it is or not. I like you and I want you to like me just a little bit. Uh, we love each other because God is love and because Jesus Christ uh, lived and died for us and lives for us right now and the Holy Spirit's working on us and all those beautiful deep things and I like you. So thank you for listening. I still like you. At least the person that I'm imagining is listening. And I hope you like me still a little bit. And if you made it to the end of this midweek message, please let me know by sending me a message at my email, revbriankent at gmail.com. That's R-E-V-B-R-I-A-N. K-E-N-T at gmail.com and I will buy you a donut after the 10 a.m. service next Sunday at Hope United Methodist Church. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.